Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this little motif that'll go with this really cute outfit that's trending on Twitter right now. This piece trends like every year for the last three years. So I'm going to insert a photo of it. Okay, originally I was going to come on here because y'all know I have my little granny scrap session. I was going to show y'all how to do this little daisy, which I used to make a bucket. But since the daisy in the trending photo was along the lines of this this is what i'm going to show you instead but i decided to go down on my yarn so before i get into that let's get into the hooks you will need so with this project just as any project you can use whatever yarn and hook you want to use when i made this one i used this four millimeter hook and wait for yarn this is Red Heart yarn, and this is Big Twist. No, Red Heart. I forgot what yarn this is, and this is Big Twist. But then I remember I had this really cute sport weight yarn that I do not use at all. So I decided to use this 3mm hook, and I sized it down. So this is made with sport weight yarn. This white piece, this colorful edging is made with sport weight yarn. But this center piece right here is made with the Big Twist yarn which is the same yarn I used here as you can see it's not that big of a difference using a different hook and a different um yarn weight but it's enough for me so this is what I want to show you how to do and in this project I want to show you how to make it and then I want to show you how you go about connecting one motif to the other oh yeah importantly don't forget your scissors okay and for reference here is the size difference of the two yarns The size difference between the two hooks but yeah let's get into the okay so to start we're gonna make a magic ring I do have a video of, mag of magic rings on my channel we're going to insert our hook and we're going to chain up three and now we're going to place 15 extended double crochet in the hook I mean in this loop so what you'll do is yarn over insert your hook into the loop pull through. Now you have three loops. Then you're gonna pull through one loop. Then you're gonna pull through two loops. Then you're gonna pull through the remaining two. And we're gonna repeat this till we have a total of 15 extended double crochet plus our chain three to start, which will give us a total of 16. And I'll meet you once I'm done that. Okay, so I completed my chain three and my 15 extended double crochet. I'm going to place my hook into the top the third or the top chain space of that chain three I'm going to grab my yarn my new color for the the color for the petals and I'm going to place it I'm going to join with a slip stitch but you can join your yarn however you want to I'm going to chain up 11 now I'm going to go in the fourth chain from the hook but I'm going to be using the back loop so I'm going to turn it once I find my fourth chain and I'm going to slip stitch no single crochet or slip stitch I'm going to single crochet into this fourth chain from the hook I want to chain up to and I'm going to make an extended double crochet where you see this loop right here so we're going to yarn over and go into that loop and we're going to do an extended double crochet but this will also make a foundation row so go through the first loop pull through two and we're going to repeat this too we have a total of five extended double crochets or five double crochet foundations we're going to go through both loops right here we're going to chain one we're going to work our double crochet as normal yarn over go through both of those loops chain one i mean let's go through one loop then we're going to go through both loops and remember we're going to finish it we're going to complete this until we have a total of five of these stitches so I have one more. OK, 
Okay, now we're going to start off the same way, going through both of these loops, but then you're going to come to the base and you're going to place your hook into one loop of that first chain you did. You're going to pull through that first loop and then we're going to pull through that bottom section. And now we're going to finish our double crochet as normal. Go over to the second stitch on the base. We're going to slip stitch our petal there. Slip stitch to the next base. Then we're going to chain up our 11 and repeat what we did. And we're going to finish, we're going to repeat this step until we have a total of eight petals. I'm going to meet you once I have my eight petals done. So you can rewind this section if you need to remember what to do. But once you get like the first few down, it's super easy to remember and super easy to repeat. Okay, so now that I have done my eighth and final petal, we are going to single crochet into our final open space. I mean slip stitch. And we're going to slip stitch into this very first space. I'm going to cut your yarn. I'm going to pull this through, pull it tight, and I'm going to bring it back through the back. I don't even know if I was on camera for that part, but yeah. And then you can weave this in, tie it and cut it, glue it, have you want to secure it. But now I'm going to show you how to do the um, outer portion and how to connect it to another motif. Okay, so what you're going to do is find any petal you want to start with. You're going to go into this top space right here. And you want to chain up nine. Now that we have that nine done, we are going to double crochet, extended double crochet together. So we're going to insert our yarn into whatever stitch feels like the middle and we're going to start off our extended double crochet we're going to go through one loop then we're going to go through the next two loops we're going to have two loops left over and we're going to do the same thing on this side into this chain space we'll do two then we'll do two we're going to chain up nine again And we're going to single crochet into the stop into the top of the next petal. You're just gonna want to continue this until you reach the end. Since we had eight petals, we have a total of 16 spaces, 16 of these um, gap spaces. But to connect it to another motif, what we'll do is we're going to chain four. Put your wrong sides together, right sides out. Find any space you want to. And we're going to. You can slip stitch or single crochet them together. I slip stitch that. Then we're going to continue to do four. So to make the chain nine, it's four plus one plus four. So we did our four plus one to connect and we're gonna do four again yeah if you need help with that you can always rewind it to understand or you can leave a comment and I'll help thoroughly explain it to you yeah for each side since we're going to have 16 spaces, each side will equal a total of four of these loops. So once you're connecting sides, you only want to connect by fours. So that's what I'm doing right here. I did one, now I'm on the second one. Actually, um... 
nice little piece to work on I don't know when I'll finish so I don't think that I'll be doing the actual outfit in a video but once you have your desired amount of squares you can like place it up to your body or use your tape measure and measure it up to the measurements you're given by a customer I don't even know if I plan on selling this set Hold up. Yeah, I don't know if I even plan on selling this set. Just because I know the amount of squares it's going to take to do. But I do know that I want to make one for myself. And she's going to be a beauty. Yeah, he, here we are with our four connected. As you see, it's cute. And then it also has some stretch. So it'll fit to your body. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this. Then I'm gonna come back on camera and show you how to do how it will look. But then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so now that we're at the end, we're gonna chain nine. And we're gonna do our seam crochet to this top. I like to also slip stitch into the second chain space that we did. Then once you tie this off, you can weave it in or whatever you want to do. I'm going to weave my in once I figure out if I want to actually make a whole outfit with this or not. If I don't do the outfit, I'll definitely be doing the shorts. But yeah, you see here are our little motifs. And this is really giving me spring vibes with this outer room and the daisies. So yeah, that's our project. What I'm gonna do is just pull these to the top of those chain spaces. But yeah, this is our finished piece. It's really cute. If you make this, as with any of my other pieces, tag me. I'd like to see your finished products. You know, refer it to a friend, then a friend, and another friend. Comment if you have any questions. It's so cute, y'all. But yeah, I really hope y'all make one. And this is like really 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 cute remember any yarn you want to use any hook you want to use yeah thanks for watching my video y'all here's some more inspiration pictures i got over the years but yeah i'm sorry if i was out of view for most of the video if you need help just ask for it